Well, I haven't spoken in a while, so here we are again. I'm starting this video off with a shocker, right? The past 12 days, I've been on vacation. Of course, when you're with your parents on vacation, there's really nothing to do. So you're basically left to yourself. You have two options, right? The first one, absolutely indulging in now pleasure and forgetting that self-improvement even exists. And the second one, to use that to focus on self-improvement. I decided to do a little experiment unconsciously. The past 12 days, I've basically stopped improving myself. Yes, I still meditated and I still journaled, right? But besides that, I didn't really do much. For example, out of the 12 days that I was gone, I fapped like five or six times. But the thing is, I don't even know how much I fapped. That's how bad it was. Almost a year has passed ever since I started my self-improvement journey. And I will make a video on that. But it's weird when you get to this point where I'm at currently, you're just like stopping self-improvement. Yes, you improve yourself to a certain level. And now your body wants to trick you that self-improvement isn't for you anymore. Actually, your body might be fine, but your dumb brain controls every single impulse that you have. And if you're currently at my point where you basically just started self-improvement or you don't know what really is and you've been on self-improvement for quite a while but you stopped doing those habits i'm here to change your mindset all right yes you may have improved yourself to a great point right but we can always go above what is the point in staying in this one place you're currently at and you're not even improving the scenario that will likely happen to you is this you're staying in this one constant place and you're not even improving yourself do you really think over time you're going to stay in this one line? No, of course not. The reality that you might face is this. It's not even a constant line going down. It's literally the opposite of a J-curve. If you don't know what a J-curve is, it's basically when you improve yourself so damn much that it exponentially rises on the like wellness graph or something. Contrary to that is the opposite of a J-curve, where you basically go downhill really fucking fast. I'm at this point in my self-improvement journey where I don't really know what to do. I'm trying to focus on the good habits as much as I can. I'm doing every single habit that I can and I'm trying to improve so damn much over a short period of time, but I realized it's not going to be like that. I got obsessed with self-improvement when I found out what self-improvement is, right? I did everything, all right? I started meditating, started journaling, started reading, starting exercises, learning. I did every single thing. I got into this mega flow state of nofap where I got to day 90. And at day 90, I decided like, yeah, whatever, I've reached day 90. And that is the one mistake I've made. This may be a quote, but nofap is honestly way harder in the summer because you have so much vitamin D and vitamin D increases testosterone. And you also have loads of free time, which in turn causes you to get more urges. It's just how it works. There may be a time where you're basically unsure of what to do. Yes, you've been on self-improvement, but you've been missing so many of the good habits lately. Don't worry if you are currently in this position because you're really just stressing over nothing. If you just continue trying and trying failure after failure, you're going to succeed no matter what. Follow me on social media for more advice. Time's gonna pass anyway and you may as well use it. Come on.